All right, my dear, so in this step, I'm going to be showing you how to analyze a primary source document, step one right now, okay? So let's start with our five W's. Those are who, what, when, where, and why. And in case you're curious at all, you should definitely been, be writing this down as I talk. So as I'm telling you, the first step answers to document A, which is called the Kingdom of Angkor, you are writing down the five W's that I'm about to say. All right, so starting with our first step, we always have to begin reading. So I'm gonna read this to you right now. If you happen to find the answers to any of our five W's as I'm reading, feel free to write it down on your own. This will be a good chance for you to check in as I'm showing you what the correct answer is for each to see if you can do this on your own. If you cannot do this on your own, even with following along with me, please reach out. You guys know I always have an open door, metaphorically speaking, because we're on them. All right, so I'm gonna read this to you right now. The Kingdom of Angkor. Angkor was, a great, was the greatest kingdom of its time in Southeast Asia. This passage was written in the 13th century by the Chinese customs inspector Xiao Zhu Pua in the city of Quanzhou, sometimes called Zaitan, on the, on the southern coast of China. His account, compiled from reports of seafarers, includes a brief description of the capital city Angkor Thom, which is still one of the greatest archaeological sites of the region. Angkor was already in decline when Xiao Zhu Pua described the kingdom and the capital was abandoned in 1432. Oh my goodness, that was a mouthful of names that I probably mispronounced. And if any of you know the correct pronunciation, please don't hesitate to tell me. We want to honor everybody's different cultures, even historically. So if I completely just add on one, I apologize profusely. All right, so I'm only reading this first paragraph to us right now because this has the answers to our five W's right here. So let's see, our who. Our who is going to be Chao Zhu Kua, right? This passage was written in the 13th century by the Chinese customs inspector Chao Zhu Kua. So this is number one right here. And if that's really sloppy too, I apologize. I'm gonna to try to make it as clear as possible. But this is the answer to number one, our first W, which is who. Our second W is going to be what? In this case, what is the source? Sometimes when you're looking at a primary source document, it's going to be a newspaper or a yearbook or something along those lines. In those cases, for our what, it's gonna be a little bit clearer to answer. And I can say, oh, it's the New York Times from World War II or something along those lines. In this case, however, this is a written account of Chao Ju Hua. So, our what is the source answer is going to be a Chinese customs inspector because this is who our source is. Yes, it's different from a what question technically, but I think you all get what I'm saying and I'm gonna draw a two right here. It looks like a Z, but if you see a Z, know that that is the answer to number two. Our what is the source question. All right, number three, when? When was this document created? If you guys already have this answer on your own, awesome, you can give yourself a pat on the back, give yourself a high five right now, that's what that noise was, you're killing it. If you don't have it already, that's cool too. It's right here for us. This passage was written in the 13th century. And I just wanna make this clear for those of you who don't know what the 13th century time period is talking about, Write this down. 13th century means from 1201 to the year 1300. When we're talking about centuries, we're always going back a thousand years before than what our specific century number is referencing. So when I say 13th century, I'm talking about the 1200 years leading up to the 1300 years. All right, so again, the answer to number Three, our third W, when, is going to be the 13th century. Kapow. You guys are just gonna have to get used to my bad handwriting with this, I apologize. All right, our fourth W is where. Where was this document written? Well, two potential answers to this, right? Where was it written and where was it written about? 
In this case, we're talking about a certain place that Chao Zhukua is referencing, and he's talking about Angkor Tom, right here, right? It says his account compiled from reports of seafarers includes a brief description of the capital city Angkor Tom. That is going to be our where for the purposes of this. And the fifth W, why, or what is the purpose? Oops, I forgot our four. Not that it's going to be pretty either way, but there's number four. And our fifth W, why, or what is the purpose? When we're learning new concepts, you guys, what's the point of it? I could get really, really specific when I'm talking about the quadratic, the quadratic formula and say, oh, the purpose of the quadratic formula is to help me find blank. Unfortunately, I do not know what the purpose of the quadratic formula is, and I'm not even sure I knew it in high school, so I feel your guys' pain there, but I do know history. I know that when we're getting descriptions of an entire capital city from the 13th century, I can assume that the author, Chao Zhu Kua, wanted future readers and future learners like us to know what existence was like in that city. It's just to inform us, and it can be as simple as that. So for our why or what is our purpose, I'm going to try to write it right here, you guys, and we'll see if I can handle it. I don't know, this is a lot of pressure. We are going to say five, our fifth W. Ooh, look at that terrible writing. Miss Mitchell's going for it though. Our fifth W is to inform. Oh, I'm trying so hard to make this legible, you guys. <laughs> this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I'm so sorry, but you get my point. All right, so here are the answers to your five W's for how to analyze a primary source document as modeled by me, Ms. Mitchell, with my horrible, horrible handwriting. For step two, you will see a sample of it. I'm only going to model the first three paragraphs for you because you already know how to mark the text. And you're on my little geniuses, so you shouldn't need any help beyond step two, first three paragraphs for me. Okay, so let's meet up in the canvas right now, and I will talk to you guys in a second.